Hey, welcome to RichardBankerWebDesign.com. Today I'm going to help create a simple newsletter sign-up form. We're going to have a contact form and we're going to integrate it specifically with MailChimp. The first thing you need to do is to get your hands on the MailChimp plugin and install it. So under the plugin manager you'll have RS Form Pro MailChimp. Make sure that's installed. Then you go to RS Form Pro, get into your dashboard at MailChimp, under your account, you have API keys and authorized apps, and you'll add a new key. And you can set a label website. Don't get too excited, these API keys are going to be removed from here as soon as I'm done this tutorial so they won't work. Then we're going to go to configuration and here you'll put in your API key and we'll just update that because I changed it. And save and close. So now we're going to go to manage forms and we're going to create a new form. It's going to be a newsletter sign up form. And I'm just going to use the wizard, so it'll be, we'll just get a simple contact form. Newsletter, sign up. Now you can add this to any form, like if you want it to be just a contact form or anything like that. But uh, I'm going to show a thank you message. Okay. We'll just go through the simple contact form finished. So now it's created a simple thing, name, email, subject, message, send, uh, with a send button. And we want to add the ability for a user to A. We want the user, let the user decide if they want to sign up for it or not, because it's kind of a contact form. And we also want them to be able to sign up for some groups that we set up within the list. So in MailChimp here, first we've created a list called Demo List. Then within the list, we've actually created groups. Uh, we have two groups in here, one called Web Design and one called Web Hosting. So people signing up for the demo list can choose, hey, I want Web Design Info or I want Web Hosting Info. So we're going to create up tho create those two specific forms. So the first thing we're going to do is create a drop-down. We're going to call it Newsletter Sign Up. I'm going to say grab our newsletter. Now it's important that we have the option for the person to subscribe on here. And unsubscribe. Now we need these in here so that MailChimp will understand. If you put any other values, it won't understand what's going on. And you can use radio buttons, you can use check boxes, whatever you want to choose. And now I'm going to put a checkbox group because I want these people to sign up for a list. Lists and news on. And this is where our our lists go. And you have to make sure you get the, the list exactly the same as what it says in MailChimp. Save. We're going to put that up here. And I'm just going to save the entire form. And I'm also going to quickly create a conditional statement 
it says a new condition I want to show the block and label for lists with all of the following match if newsletter sign up is subscribed so I want to show the block and label of lists if the newsletter sign up is set to subscribe. Save and close. So if we preview this, what we're going to see is name, email, subject, message, grab our newsletter. If it's set to subscribe, then those are, if it's set to unsubscribe, then they hide. And we're actually going to select we're going to add a third option to this one. Because what if they don't want to subscribe? They don't want to, they haven't subscribed yet, so. I'm going to say no thank you. The other thing that we're going to do with this here is by default there's just your name. Well, we're going to duplicate this. Pull it up here. And with MailChimp, there's a first name, last name. So we want both of those. So first name. Please let us know your first name. Update. And then last name. This way we can actually map these right over to MailChimp. Ouvre le port. There we go. Last name. Last name. And last name. Update. So now we're ready to go. We've got our form all set up. We've got our newsletter sign up in there and the lists. And we're going to go over to Properties, down to the bottom, MailChimp Integration. And I'll go over this pretty quick. Use, yes. Um, action Subscribe, you know, right away. But no, we want to let the user decide. So we're going to go down to Newsletter Sign Up. List ID. When you're connected to MailChimp, this down this your all your lists will auto populate here also when you click on the demo list then everything else will populate down here um, double opt in defaults to true yes update existing Uh, replace interests and well you've got all these different options uh, unsubscribe options and you can play with those now here are the fields that we want to map now the email address that's email first name is our name field last name and we would like news on this is our values for our our lists so right there and we're going to hit save Now we've been integrated with MailChimp here, and we're going to do a test and make sure that happens. Now to speed things up here, I, I just did this. First name, yes, yes, yes. You fill it all in. I know, thank you, subscribe, yes. And then you hit send. So when your user hits send, what happens is the way we've got it set up is they'll receive a double opt-in. So they receive an email. In the email, they hit subscribe. This is the preferred method, method by MailChimp because it prevents spamming and bad things. It's just a better way to do it. So now when I go to subscribers on my demo list, I'll, uh, I'll see, hey, I have a new, a new subscriber. So, hey, that's pretty awesome. And it's to a specific list, to my web design list. So that's how to set up your and configure your MailChimp integration with RS Form Pro. If you're having problems with it, 
need it set up for you, check me out, richardbankerwebdesign.com.